you were here earlier, we started Dragon Age Origins Awakening. Um, and we are currently, let's see if we do resume. That should do it. Um, yeah, we currently picked up a few quests here from, uh, I don't know, I'll refer to them as the council. It's probably not who, really who they are. I think they're the... <laughs> the people who take care of the amaranthine here uh let's also put a lock on that um but yeah we got some quests from them it's where we're gonna continue from oh my gosh there's books there's books um let's go get them grandmaster frost rune tracing requires expert rune crafting the warrior's heart is a gift a book on various orders of warriors with particular emphasis on the gray wardens ash warriors legion of the dead and silent sisters cool inventory full not cool 107 how the heck did they let us go over that's interesting oh <gasps> it's all this stuff okay so they gave us back the stuff that um that what was his name mari was holding all right, Anders, Ambassador Sarah. The Tower of Magi has sent me as an ambassador, Commander. In addition to my diplomatic function, I'm a competent enchanter and runesmith. Is there anything you need? Oh, cool. Um, do you have any runes for sale? Certainly. Oh, look at this. Uh, evasion rune tracing. Cool, look at that. Never really cared much for them though. Um May I be of service? Uh I like to have something enchanted, let's of see. Of course. Let's see if um Grey Warden armor. Oh, this has two spots. Okay. Plus one armor. It's a novice one. Uh chance to plus two to constitution. Okay. Okay. Plus eight spell resistance, plus two electricity damage. Let's send physical resistance. Let's use those because we can. Um, wow, okay. Hmm. May I be of service? I don't think it gave us the option for our of course. companions, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um I'd like to take more stuff, but I can't. Personal storage? Oh, nice. I forgot that they have that in this game. Okay. It is begun. Books. Grandmaster Hill. Rune Tracing. Verses of Dreams. Another gift. <laughs> Inventory still full. It's reminding me. Commander's Helmet. Chainmail Boots. And a Trickster's Tunic. Oh, wow. It's actually really good. It's light armor. Hmm. I can't take any of it. Okay. Let's go here. Personal storage. All I have in there is a silver cog. Plus 15% electricity. With, okay. Uh, hmm. I'd like... Do, do we have any places where we can sell stuff in here? I thought they mentioned that earlier. Um, whoops. Got Doing a little bit of a test tonight too. I've oh, got to make sure this thing is up. Okay. Hopefully, it's kind of blurry. I'm hoping that's really not the case, but we'll see. Uh, book. First Warden, 50 XP. Yuria. Mistress Woolsey says I can set up shop here. Nice. The merchant you saved was grateful to be alive. Restock me for a bargain. The savings are yours, of course. Thank you. You need anything, Commander? Uh, let's see what you have. All right. Also, let's see what I can sell. Um, go here. Aha, uh -huh. okay. This is an easier way to do that. Make sure that we don't sell anything special. You can usually tell by, like, how much um, the price is for it. It's 
still want to hang on to those. Those can go. Inscribed. Sell both. Well, what heavy metal shield is worth a gold? Almost two gold? Okay. Currently have 14 spots open. There's some of these stones that like aren't worth keeping. I don't remember which ones. But that was in the base game. It was like, it was stones that we could um, donate towards the um, towards the impending uh, war. Yeah, we definitely need more space in this though. Um, what did you have? Uh, anything? Anything good anywhere? Charlatan's walking stick. Um. Oh, that actually was really good. 36 magic resistance. I uh, wonder if Andrews would like this. Uh, how much do we have? We have 81 gold. We're going to buy it. Bingo. Storm chaser mail. Ooh, three spots. Hmm. Yeah, it looks okay. Scouts metal plus two to dex plus ten to constitution. Whoa, plus two armor plus fifty to stamina. Eighty-four gold. Blood of the warrior plus two strength. A chance to avoid missile attacks and plus ten physical resistance. That's actually really good. It's nine gold though. Uh, plus four willpower plus four magic. I feel like buying both of these. We're not gonna we're not gonna do anything with all the money we have anyways. So I think it's I think it's okay. Um, I think we're okay with poultices. For the time being. Shadow, you don't see me, but that doesn't mean I'm not here. A maudlin tale of a rogue growing up in a loveless home. Hmm. Ooh, a backpack. Um, each backpack purchased automatically increases inventory capacity by 10. And there's what, two here? Yes, I will be I will buy both. Heraldry, Kuzland. The heraldry of the Kuzlands of Hyver can be applied to a suitable shield. Uh, this cross can be applied to a suitable... Sh okay, so it's for shields. Uh, I don't need it. Stuff for crafting. Don't need any of that. Okay, cool. We now have 120 spots for loot. Let's see, what can we put in here? Uh... Hopefully I can't throw anything in here that I'm currently using. Hmm. Hopefully I don't need this. Hopefully I don't need those for now. Um. Let's see. Don't think I need these. Don't need that. Um, good there. Let's put the private documents in there. Those in there. I don't think we need these stones on us at all times. Crafting stuff. I don't think we need all the crafting stuff on us at all times either. Okay. 51. Much better. Pick up this stuff. Take all. Take all. Surprised that that wasn't glowing. I don't know what that would actually be used for. Hmm.
Yeah, I'll hold on to it for now, I guess. Cool. All right. It's so quiet here. They're, they should really have someone like playing music or something. I'll grin. What? Nice, nice. Okay. Should we get a move on? Yeah, I really wish we could. Weapons. Great sword, Dumont's spine. Uh, it's not bad. Stamina regen. Ooh, plus six to attack and plus twenty five percent critical backstab damage. And a Chevalier's mace. All right, all right, cool, cool. Some pretty decent stuff. I'm currently using a Verdium great sword. And I have nothing on my other hand. Okay. We also what? We don't have any of this stuff on. What is what is this business? What happened here? Okay. Oh wow. Hmm. Well, it's definitely better than that. Okay, do we have a belt that I could be wearing? I don't know exactly where that would show up. It wouldn't be under accessories, is it? Pearl of the Anointed. Plus two to all attributes increases monetary gain. So that goes there. Although I did buy something that's like even better, right? Ah. Uh, uh, plus two to all attributes, though, is really good. Sleeper. Plus 25% electricity resistance. Uh, fire damage. Okay. Huh. Ah, yes, we can put stuff on them now. All right, let's see. This appears to be better, but let's put this in your offhand or in, uh, as your alternate. Cool. Cool. Looks like a, like a thing you row with. This guy can, can't really wear anything. Uh, did I buy you an accessory that was really good for mages? Plus four to willpower and plus, plus four to magic. So it's better than hailstone. Okay. Okay, we could we should be good there. One for the ditch. Let's uh, put that on that guy. All right, we're good there, I think. Hmm. You're you hold on to that mace. Okay. That's currently my party. Let's save. Cool. It's a lot of stuff we just did. Make sure we don't lose that progress. Wait. All right, cool. Thought he was using the mace already. I was like, ah, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. So it's this way. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, so we're short one in our party. Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. Um. Where is this thief now? He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Okay, show them to me. Just give me a moment. Letters for the commander. 
a daughter ransom. So this must be um, kind of like how in the base game there was like a board. You could get a uh, quest from it. A daughter ransom, commander of the Grey. I am Sir Edgar Bensley, a faithful vassal. My daughter and sole heir, Eileen, has been kidnapped by Mosley, the snake's vile lot of miscreants. My fife is a small in my is small and my means meager, and they have demanded 30 sovereigns in a time frame I cannot meet. I pray you will intercede on my behalf. The ransom is to be delivered to the abandoned shantry for, by Forlorn Cove. If you produce the ransom, I swear by my faith in Andrasi that I will repay you in time. You and my gentle daughter go with my prayers. Sir Edgar Bensley. Uh, yes, I accept. Far afield. Most honored commander, ever since my husband passed, I've been looking for after my family in the hired hands, but the Darkspawn have been getting worse. We have a Templar who checks on us occasionally, but there's a limit to what he can handle. If you can pay, help my family, will tell Lord Edelbreck you're a friend. Sounds familiar. Uh, I fear we may not have much time. Good wife, Valena Chernobyl. Cool. Thank you. Two more quests. Uh, Vigil Keep, the dungeon, Sergeant Maverly's. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still darkspawn in the Vigil. Okay. Uh, Captain didn't mention anything about that. There are darkspawn still about. Um, there are darkspawn, darkspawn still about. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. That's probably true. Um, I'm good at killing darkspawn, but not at digging. <laughs> if I don't head down, take me to the cave-in. Take me to the cave-in, please. Straight away, sir. Here we go. Oh. Here we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. Uh, have them been cleared of the rubble? How did the dark spawn get down here? How did they get down here? Or how far do the basements go, actually? No one knows. The vigil's always been here. Since the barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? Okay, how did the dark spawn get down here? I don't know. But no one saw the dark spawn approach on the surface either. You don't seem to know Maybe much of anything. Maybe they found a way to attack from below. Have them been clear of the rubble. You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. <laughs> this is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. I bet it's dark spawn, like you said. All right, cool. Let's save real quick. I uh, got a couple dudes here with um, level ups. Okay, final below. Mm -hmm. Templar. No. Okay, he's two-handed. Uh, hmm. Hmm. He also has war cry. Champion is so fearsome that Warcry now knocks nearby foes off their feet unless they pass a physical resistance check. I think we might just do that. Two hand sweep. And then you... Uh, you need more into... Uh, represents characters. Determination and mental fortitude with high willpower. may just can cast more spells thanks to a deeper mana pool. Um, he seems to never run out of mana. Maybe one into each of these. Don't know if that was a good idea or not. All right, he has two here. I think we're still going to hang on to those. And he's got two here. Uh, his blizzard. I like that he's using this. That's that. That's a really good one. We're going to have him hold on for now. Okay. 
Uh, all right, let's go. So, mage, huh? What's it like? To have all this power at my fingertips. Fire arrows? No, to always have to wear a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't know the story behind the robes. You know how strict things are. Dark spawn mace. Well, the dog. Make quick trysts in the corner, easy. No laces or buttons. You're just, well, you're done before the Templars catch on. Really? Well. Just ask anyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we have a Mabari here. Uh, our Mabari in the base game was Hamburglar. This Mabari seems greatly distressed. Her fur is patchy and caked with dirt and blood. Um, Try to come for the dog. Failure. You find a small squirrel behind, uh, bound to the dog. Um, take the scroll. A woman named Adria writes that she has taken refuge in the lower levels of the keep. Adria's plight. Oh, okay. It said I failed, but obviously uh, it wasn't too bad. Also, I'm kind of feeling like maybe we should go talk to the prisoner. And maybe see if we can take him as um as a companion. It'll make this much easier, especially if he's ranged. Um, I'm feeling it like that's probably what's gonna happen because we just found a longbow. All right, we're gonna have to come right back here. Vigil's keep dungeon. Is it you? Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. Hmm. Uh, who is he? He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. Okay. Um, leave me to talk with him. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. I'm thinking we might take him with us. Maybe. There's no one here. I'm the boss. <laughs> Supplies. Soap on a rope. It's a gift. Oh, <laughs> how quaint. Okay, I wonder if that belongs to this guy. Prisoner's effects. Oh, he's definitely... Um, he is definitely a uh, ranged character. As you say. Nathaniel. Have a chat. If it isn't the great hero... Conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil. Aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Um, are you trying to insult me? Somehow I just thought that my father's murderer would be uh, <gasps> more impressive. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Oh, I remember. He, he he was a jerk. And he was voiced by Tim Curry. Um, <laughs> Arl Howe killed my family. He deserved everything he got. So you came here for revenge. Is that it? Your father brought this his end on himself. I'm going to say your father brought his end on himself. My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians. Yet our family lost everything. I came here to... I thought I was going to try to kill you, to lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. Okay, uh, you tried to have me killed. Uh, just how much do you know about your father? Your family is belonging still here? I'm sorry. Um, just how much do you know about your father? If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. 
Look, I don't know what happened with the Kuslans. It sounds like it was horrible. The entire war was. Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha. Ironic, isn't it? Um. Hmm. Perhaps you should work to redeem your name. You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. Um, I was trying to get him to come with me. Um. What will you do if I let you go? If you let me go? Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. Okay, now he's making me really nervous. Um, you're not making the best case for yourself. I could lie, if you prefer. I understand we had trouble capturing you. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Do you really hate me so much? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens here in my home. Your family only has itself to blame for its troubles. The house served Ferelden for 12 generations. My ancestors served under King Callanhad, and now it's all lost. So go ahead and do what you're going to do. I've decided what to do with you. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Uh, did you know this was Nathaniel Howe? Hmm. I wish I, I wish to invoke the right of conscription. <laughs> Hang him. He's too dangerous to be allowed to live. Give him his family's things and let him go. Please him, I want him gone. Um. Did you know that this is Nathaniel Howe? Uh, how? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. Um. <laughs> let's invoke the right of, con of constri uh, conscription. If he hates me, I'm going to keep him as close as possible. Keep your enemies close, right? You what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. Did I say I was giving you a choice? <laughs> you don't think this is a better that this is better than dying? Um You don't think this is better than dying or you think this is better than dying? Hard to say. You like having Grey Wardens who want you dead? I'll risk it. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. <sighs> The moment of truth. Hopefully this can be like a redemption arc for this guy. We just met him, but let's see. The how is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, there he is. will live. It has been decided. New codex. Nathaniel. Nice. Nathaniel's joining. Wait. And now we have another companion. Uh. We have to go back and get his things. I don't think they're very happy with me. Let's save just in case if they try to make me do something else before I'm ready. I'm here to serve, Commander. Um.
Can you do anything to resupply your soldiers? I will do what can be done. But you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. Okay. None of this seems uh, different than when we talked to her first. The first time. Have you been a, ever been a wise up? No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable, but their like will never be seen again. Uh, I need more wardens. The Fereldons are a proud... Had the first warden sent far and far... Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. Why does the first warden care about Emerithine? About the Arling? He... When warden... Her true story... We are now presented with another precedent. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example. Very well, Commander. That's weird that the trade must flow. I already had that quest. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. Well, that's nice. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Cool. Uh, if any, if any took part in the number in the murder of my family, <laughs> dot dot dot. Um, how could I trust anyone who served that? Uh, asp of a man. Um, what do I need to know about them? Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Okay. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthi. Commander. Um, our differences are many, but our cause is one. I'm going to persuade. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine. As is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck, and so the ceremony is <laughs> complete. Long live the warden commander. So everyone loves me? Oaths of fealty. Okay. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Um. Who do I need to get to know here? There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Ban Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Okay. Um, I should get back to Mingling. Okay. Cool, cool. Save just in case. All right. Um. I think I'll come back here later and talk to her and to Lord Edelbreck. Um, I wasn't done out here. Oh, nice. Okay, so I have them all. Yes. Uh, yes. Sweet. Love it. Got a full party now. It is begun. Okay. Oh, nope. Not. Nope. That was not the place I thought we were going. I shall do it. It is here. Dungeon. Oh, okay. So the stuff that he must have gotten when we uh, freed him must have been the stuff in that. Had to have been, hopefully. No. Did they give me his belongings? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, here. Oh, that's a helmet. Okay. Let's see. Um... Yeah, the stuff he has on is pretty good for him right now. You need... I've actually got some pretty nice bows in our stash. Got fire arrows. All right. 
Okay, let's level him up. All right, so he could be a bard, a ranger, or a duelist. Definitely don't want him to be um, uh, melee, so I don't think we want to go with this. Wait, the duelists are deadly combatants who prefer to fight in light armors and strike with light but precise attacks. Experienced duelists have pre preternatural reflexes that allow them to evade their opponent's clumsy blows as well as strike with a remarkable precision. Um, I think we're going to go with these two. Uh, stealing. <laughs> okay. What's the one that what, that allows you to pick locks? Hmm. Uh... Do that, that. Let's do one here, one here, one there. Assassin. Uh, the assassin's mark uh, marks the target, uh, revealing weaknesses that others can exploit. All attacks against a marked target deal additional damage. Ooh, wow. Exploit weakness. It's passive. A keen eye and a killer instinct help the assassin exploit a target's weak points. During a successful backstab attack, the assassin gains additional damage based on cunning. Oh, so he's, that's a melee type thing? Last rate, whenever a backstab deals enough damage. Okay. Uh, bard. Song of Valor. The bard sings an ancient tale of valorous heroes, granting the party bonuses to mana or stamina to regeneration at a rate affected by the bard's cunning. The bard can only sing one song at a time. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, combat movement. The quick-stepping rogue can e more easily outmaneuver opponents, granting a wider flanking angle that makes backstabs easier to achieve. Deadly strike. The rogue makes a swift strike at a vulnerable area on the target, dealing normal damage, but getting a bonus to armor penetration. Ooh, mechanical expertise. Ooh, so you can unlock stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Um, stealth. Rogue has learned from, to fade from view. Although perceptive enemies may not be fooled, taking any action beyond movement, including engaging in combat or using items, will... Okay. Heart Seeker. The rogue strikes with a great precision, attempting to fell weakened enemies in one last blow. If the attack is successful, they target... Um, hmm. Ranger. Summon Wolf. This is... Okay. I really liked this. Yeah. When Liliana used to use that. Archery. Uh... Deadly with both bows and crossbows, master archers receive additional benefits when using aim, defensive fire, crippling shot, critical shot, arrow of slaying, rep shot, and scattering shot. Yeah, use that. Uh, suppressing fire sustained. When this mode is active, the archer's shots hamper foes. Each arrow deals regular damage and also encumbers the target with a temporary penalty to attack. This penalty can be applied multiple times. That sounds OP. Accuracy. For as long as this mode is active, the archer's mind is clear of, of everything except the next shot's trajectory, gaining bonuses to attack damage, range critical chance, and range critical damage, all dependent on the archer's dexterity attribute. Arrow time. Hmm. Ooh, friendly fire possible. Ooh, that's scary. Anything that ever says friendly fire possible, I kind of try to stay away from. Intense focus uh, slows the archer's perception of time, effectively reducing the movement speed of enemies who come near as long as the mode is active, excepting those of elite rank or higher. Ooh, it drains stamina constantly. Let's do that. Got three others. Uh... The rogue has taken a keen eye for weak spots and thus gains a bonus to critical chance for all attacks. Additionally, if the rogue's cunning source is greater than strength, sharpness of mind lets the character use the cunning modifier to affect attack damage in place of the strength modifier. Coup de gras. When a target is incapacitated, the opportunistic rogue strikes where it hurts the most, inflicting automatic backstabs against thunder or paralyzed targets. Do that, and then there's one more. Cool. 
All right, I guess he's ready. Uh, although we don't have his tactics on yet. Whoa. Huh. Well, he's got a lot of stuff. We're just going to let him... We're going to let him ride for now. Okay. Got a full party. We're going to go in um, and try to take care of the issues they're having in here. Hopefully it's not a trap that they're setting for me. What? 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 You were staring at me, you man skirt wearing freak. Oh, I thought you were being attacked by a wild animal. It was only your beard. You think you're so clever, don't you? Sparkle fingers. Sparkle fingers. <laughs> Okay. Auto save there. The docks. All right, who who we got here? Emissary. An emissary is almost dead. It's kind of weird. Oh, what did he just do to me? Oh, he took he took my health or something. So this isn't good. Okay, shattered. Nice. He's down. What's that? Uh, can we back up a little bit? Why is he up on this guy? Why is Nathaniel like right up? Why am I not attacking? Why am I not attacking? Okay, why why am I not going? Oh my gosh. Nathaniel doesn't have a weapon. We never went to go back and get him a weapon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Corpse. Chainmail. Okay. We gotta leave. Come back. That was my bad. Let's go. So what I meant to do... Uh, where's... Is it up here? Let me see. Check the map. Throne room. Okay. As you say. What I wanted to do is check to see if we had anything better uh, that he could use. Oh no. You can't just... Ugh. Probably hold on to all these arrows and bolts now. Okay. Mm, okay. All right, let's get back out there. It's going to have us choose again, right? Yes. Uh, yes. First things first. <laughs> Nathaniel? 
All right. Uh, you can't use that. Oh, you need strength, huh? That sucks. All right, dark spawn, longbow, uh, tier two. Yo, knife, how's it going? <laughs> two streamings in one day. I know it's amazing, isn't it? How's it going, man? Did you end up doing any anything else today? This one's tier seven, so he'll use that. And use that there. It's not it's not the greatest bow ever though. We're gonna hold on to these bows or these bolts and arrows just in case for now. So he doesn't use them when he doesn't need to. Too cold to do anything. Yeah, that's true. It was really barely cold today. At one point, uh, when I checked this afternoon, it was six. <laughs> the feels like temperature was six. You're rending house, little blighter. That's one way of putting it. They talked about you in the army. Fergus Kuzlin said you wouldn't have the stones to show your face again. But you Ooh, proved it boy. Wrong. I respect that. You do. Yeah. Throw caution to the wind. Run headlong into danger and sod the consequences. That's the only way to live. Thanks. <laughs> I think. Yep. Don't you give a piss what the others think. Ogren's got your back. <laughs> oh, I like Ogren. I didn't use him much in my base playthrough, but uh, yeah, he's uh, he's good. He's funny. West Hill Brandy. A letter. Response from Brendan Howe. Response from Brendan Howe. What? Uh, Lowen. We cannot afford an insurrection. Put any troublemakers in chains. Do whatever it takes to weed them out. Whatever it takes, Lowen. Do not fail me. That's your dad, dude. That's, uh, this guy's dad. Injury kit. Lesser. Thing of grounding. Cool. You playing anything or anything there, Knife? Like, what, like, uh, what are you working on now? Health Holtis. Uh, you said you were either start Prey or some other game after you finish uh, San Andreas. Ooh, okay. So there's a way down. Don't know if I'm ready to go down there yet. Maybe down here, though. <laughs> this looks like just... Uh, oh, sheesh. Holy potatoes. That scared me. All right. So we got a Shrieker Alpha here. See if we can knock him down. Nope. Uh, ooh, he has Mark of Death on him, though. Um, Sunder Armor. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no. He disappeared. Whoop. And then he reappeared. Okay. Oh, this is bad, dude. Let's use that. Alright, so hopefully that gets everyone's attention to come to me. But I wonder if we can get everyone to focus on this guy. Okay, big guy's down. Take on this one. Nice. Dude, that scared me. Uh, are we doing Modern Warfare games? Oh, really? Then the coin flip for Prey or Quantum Break. Um, so what's going on that you, you're going back to playing those games? Uh, some something special? Let's go look at the book. The House of Emerenthine. The House of Emerenthine are one of the oldest noble families in Ferelden. Their lineage traces to the time of Kalanhad, when Elias Howe was one of the first freeholders to follow Callanhad. During the occupation, Arl Tarleton Howe, Rendon Howe's father, threw his lot in with the Orlesians. After several bitter battles with rebels, the town of Harper's Ford, an outpost governed by Tarleton Howe, fell to the Kuzlins of High Ever, Tarleton hanged. Rendon uh, brought the Howe family over to the side of Merrick Theron 
and Loghain MacTier's rebellion. Rendon's bravery at the Battle of White River, fighting alongside Bryce Coosland, earned back his family's honor. When King Merrick took the throne of Free for Alton, Rendon Howe was decorated for his service. Uh, private documents. All right, Shrine to Andaste. Just wanted to play him. Cool, cool. A small plaque, uh, plaque reads, Andraste was bathed in fire before the maker's eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, look, there's a door behind there. I knew it. Maybe once we do whatever, that'll move? I don't know. Let's also uh, do that. Oh, man, there's a lot of them. Prisoner ghoul? I wonder how difficult they're going to be. There's a lot of them, but they don't... They probably shouldn't be that tough. All right, hold on. Let's get them all to come to me. And then watch this. Get wrecked. Uh... Nice one. Okay, this guy next. Okay, this guy here. Okay. This guy. Nice job. Sweet. As you say. Delilah Howe's letters. We've already found some stuff that would be perfect for uh I think I can help with that. With Nathaniel. And Tevin Crossbow. He doesn't have enough strength though. Of course not. Soldier's corpse. Leather boots. Okay. Go over there. Um, can we free these people? Oh, thank the maker. Please let us out. Um, it's more dangerous out here. Really? Maybe we'll just stay here. Rotten <gasps> bodies don't smell half as bad as the food they give us. No, 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 no. You can go. Oh, crap. All right, we're going to have to do that battle again. Um, I basically wanted to tell them, like, do I have As to, do I have to do this again? Okay. Um, I wanted to tell them don't come out yet, basically. Didn't want them to think that they couldn't leave. Okay. Start to this guy. Oh, he missed with his speaking strike this time. Okay. 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 Take all. As you say. Take all. Okay. Now in case if anything happens, I'm going to save here. <laughs> I'm going to tell him to go, but um, it's not safe. I feel real bad about it. Oh, thank the maker. Please let us out. You are free. Run. Quick, before more of those things come. They approve. Wow. Look at that. Um, let's 
go this way, I guess? Hmm. Actually, what happens if we go this way first? Doors open. Oh. No. No, a dryer. A dryer. To help her. There must be some way. A dryer. Nope. There, there, there is no helping. There is no helping her. She's too far gone. Adria the ghoul. Okay. Oh, she resisted. Um. Let's um. Let's taunt. Okay, so now everyone's gonna be coming after me. Okay. Come on, get her. Okay. She's down, finally. Okay, that guy's down. Nice. Quest completed. Um, Adria was the one that we had um, found a dog, a Mabari, and it had a letter underneath it that said that she would be down here. Letter to Rendon Howe. My Lord Howe, some of the men were, uh, are not pleased with your plan. They will incite others against you. For the plan to succeed, our forces must be united. If word gets out, if, you, if even one of them informs Kuzlan, it will be your head on a plate. I say this with all due respect, sir. Your captain, Lowen. Yep. Very well. Uh, gold earring. It's a gift. All right. What what loot did she have? Oh, viridium something. Viridium ore. Elemental requirements. Uh, find mineral deposits. You found a deposit of iridium ore that Wade can use to make armor for your soldiers. Keep looking for other metals. It is begun. Injury kit and a ring of mastery. Plus 10 to spell power. Whoa. What about you? Like, uh, what do you got? Um, instead of the ring of faith, you could probably use that. Right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Very nice. You murdered a slew of darkspawn there. I did. I well, you hear the stories about you and the wardens. Really? But to see it firsthand. Um. Yeah, the wardens didn't inspire you. Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you. You're something else. You're a monster. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. Ah, uh, so the dark spawn came from below. This cave and stop them if they return. Um, the game. <laughs> came from below I the Elysian lads would have had a terrible surprise explains how experienced men fell to the dark spawn this is a grave matter if we don't shut these tunnels the dark spawn can attack from below again and Draste's blood there are basement entrances throughout the keep there's no way to defend against that then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off never you fear lass with the Warden's muscle in my stonecraft, we'll find a way. Okay. Um, give me a few moments. Of course. Okay. Um, I wonder if that stuff we found, the Viridium or whatever, will help this guy. 
humans digging this deep under the vigil. Who knew? Uh, let's go explore a little more, and then we'll come back. I almost thought they weren't letting me leave. I think I can help with that. Okay. Open it up. Nice job. Very well. Oh, what is this? What is this? This crypt is old. Really old. I bet it was here before the current keep was built. Sarcophagus? Health poultice in a sarcophagus? Yeah, that sounds okay to take. Health poultice in a trickster's cap. Plus two to willpower. Plus 15 mental resistance. Plus 15. Wow, hold on. Andrews, can you wear that? Cannot. Um, how about Nathaniel? Wait, that's a tunic. Cap. Bingo. Cool. 